Hello everyone, it's your main man Rico Rocks here. Let me set up this camera real quick. I want to have a discussion. So Merry Christmas everybody. Christmas 2019. Just here eating dinner, just got finished. So don't forget where you came from. And don't don't forget to use those influences. I feel it is very important to use those influences, to, especially if you're so much different than your upbringing. Now, most of us, most of us, no, not most of us, I really don't know the research, but some of us go against what our parents have taught us based on how our parents were. Some of us, I came from a Christian household. I don't know where you came from, but as a natural teenage rebellion, most of us go against what our parents taught us, and most of us stay there. And some of us never come back. But I realize that those influences are powerful perspectives. They're powerful. So powerful that we decided they to go against them because they were against who we wanted to become. Whether you love your influences as a child, as your upbringing, or whether you don't, I think it's very important to look at. If you ever want to go start a family, it's something you're going to have to think about how you're going to raise your kids, right? You're going to raise a, you How many times have you heard people say, I'm going to get, I'm going to treat them so much better than my parents ever treated me. I'm going to give them all the things my parents didn't give them, my kid, give me. So it, it, it has a weight on your current style, whether you realize it or not, whether you're for it or against it. Most people feel like if you follow your parents, you don't have an individuality. That you're just following your family's footsteps. And it's also the goes the same way if you go against them. You're running away from their footsteps. You're, you're looking, if you don't like your parents, or you disagree with them so strongly that you feel that they're dumb or uneducated based on the way they live their lifestyles, that's going to affect how you take things. It'll close you off to those types of people, which limits you. Now, it's going to go against the science people here, but I believe in no limits, right? And if you ask a physicist about limitations, he'll get an earful, let me tell you. There's only so much a certain thing can do. There's only so much a certain thing can do before it reaches its limitation physically. The key, my key is my, limita- my limitlessness. Inelis is the word I like to use, to reach the state of Inelis. It's a word I created, Inelis. It means to be limitless. Using the limit, the limitless mindset, you can reach and pull from anywhere, from any form of the perspective library to help your problem solving to help your communication. So don't be afraid to embrace the inner child. Look back at your life. Find out what made you tick as a child and what things you ran towards and what things you went away from. And there, my friends, is where you become limitless. 420.